All right, what's up, jerks? Uh, I know you some y'all was quarantine. Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's up, jerks? I uh, know some of y'all quarantine, uh, can't really train, uh, but that's no excuse for you not to get better and build your skill set up. Um, so when it comes to striking, when it comes to Muay Thai, one thing that you can always do um, in the spare time at your home is shadow box, and that's what a lot of you need to work on because you can suck at it. So let's get better at shadow box. So um, we're gonna be intentful in our shadow box and we're gonna break it down. So, if you've ever been to any of my classes, I always start off shadow boxing in segments. We'll start off with punches. So, I want you to be in your fighting stance, hands up by your temples, no lower than your chin, but preferably up by your temples. Chin tuck, and you're just gonna move around. And we're gonna loosen up and work our punches. Then, I break it down, and we add elbows in next. So, hands up, high, knife hands, Hands nice and open when throwing elbows because if you try to throw an elbow with a clenched fist or if your hands slightly closed, you can literally feel the difference in your elbow here. My elbow's nice and sharp this way. When I close it, it's blunt. This doesn't do anything. So make sure. Knife hands, when I'm throwing elbows, nice quick flicking motions coming off of my feet and my hips. Make sure you come right back to protect your face. If you are in range to throw an elbow, so is your opponent. Doesn't take much to get cut in Muay Thai when it comes to elbows. Then, we work our way down. I add knees. We work our knees from our various ranges. If you are stepping and throwing your knee, that's your long range knee. I want you to work your short and mid range knees from clinch. So clinch up an imaginary person and start throwing knees from here. But don't just throw them straight. Make sure you also pivot and turn so that you're used to getting this push pull motion down in the clinch. Then we add on our kicks. So you'll have your teeps which is a push kick. When we push, we activate our hips and we come right back here. It's not karate, it's not taekwondo. It's not a front snap kick, this doesn't do anything. We want to push and move our opponent. So, you got your teeps and you got your round kicks. Stepping off at a 45 degree angle, turning my hip over so I can get this kick. Now, when you're working your teeps and your round kicks, that doesn't mean that you just stick with your basic teep and your basic round kick. You've got various levels to attack. Teep to the leg, down low, mid-range, teep to the body. Got a disrespectful opponent, teep him in the face, up high. Same thing with kicks. I've got low kicks, mid-range kicks, and high kicks. Now, also, play around with your timing, and play around with your distance. You can faint into all of these attacks. You can faint into a kick. You can faint into a teep. Then we're gonna add switches. You can switch into a teep. You can also switch into a kick. Now, last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put it all together. Now you got all eight weapons. Punches, kicks, knees, elbows. Now we're gonna be here. Free flow. Using all my weapons. Segment your shadow boxing down and put it all together at the end. All right, so we got all of that laid out. Um, you should break down each segment. You should probably do four rounds, um, three minutes at a piece. So that way you get to work. Punches, kicks, knees, and elbows. <laughs> Peace, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>